Hello, fellow gamers. If you're here, then that means you've been having trouble defeating the Valkyrie Gondol and give me God of War mode. This guide will show you how to defeat her on any difficulty level using the simplest method available. Every Valkyrie teaches the player an important combat mechanic. Gondol rewards pattern recognition and punishes lack of responsivity to patterns. My loadout here is the Niflheim armor set with a focus on strength, the Talisman of Eternal Fury, and my runics are Rampage of the Furies and Tartarus Rage with the Blades of Chaos, and Hell's Touch and Evaldry's Anvil with the Frost Axe. Well, with the intro out of the way, let's get straight into the fight. Okay, we're gonna start with the traditional Valkyrie opener, which is spamming all one with Kratos and square with Atreus until she's ready to start the fight, and she'll signal this with the normal wing flip. Alright, there's the wing flip. Now, I'm going to start unloading runics. So here I managed three of them. First, Rampage of the Furies. Then Tartarus Rage. And then Hell's Touch with the Frost Axe. Now this right here is Gondol's signature move, the Lava Rain. She'll send a stream of fire towards you in a straight line, and she'll set the ground on fire. Make sure you dodge to the right whenever possible. 90% of the time she follows up this attack with a melee attack and will try to push you into the fire if you try to dodge left. Alright, so she's following up with the wind slash. Now the wind stab. And there's our opening right now for the Evaldry's Anvil. 0-1, 0-1, 0-1. And here's a new move, the Buzzsaw attack. She shares this one in common with Ulrum. But unlike Ulrum, after she's done with it, 90% of the time, she follows up with a Valhalla Stomp. Alright, so I'm just going to hold up the shield and block this attack. And now she's going for the Valhalla Stomp. Now, Gondol's Valhalla Stomp is a little different than normal. It's a two-stage move. So firstly, you'll see a little ring of fire appear on the ground. And then you'll get hit with a fireball, which will stagger you if it hits you. So I dodge that one first. Then the second one will be her coming back down for the actual stomp itself. Make sure you dodge this one, otherwise it will take off about half your health bar. Alright, now I'm just spamming all one to try and recharge Runix, blocking her attacks. Now she's going to jump backwards and use the Fire Rain. I'm literally just going to walk to the right. Dodge the feathers as well. Alright, this move is the Flying Maze Smash. In principle, it's similar to the Blinding Flash that Geardrifle uses, except this one doesn't blind you. You'll see here that I tried to throw the axe to stop it, but I miss and end up getting stunned. If this happens, don't worry too much, because she will always follow up with the ground version of the Maze Smash, and you will always have the time to avoid it. Alright, right here's where I miss with the axe. I get hit by the blinding flash, but don't panic. Right here, as you can see, she always follows up with the ground version of the Maze Smash. So all I'm going to do is get out of its range, and then I'm going to position myself behind her and punish her with a runic attack. Alright, Hell's Touch. Or one, or one, or one, or one. And now, as you can see, she's starting to repeat the same patterns again. So she's jumped back, she's going to use the Fire Rain, and then she's going to follow up with another melee attack, which would push us into the flames if we dodged left. Okay, so she's choosing to follow up with the Mace Smash. I'm just going to freeze this frame here for those who have trouble with this attack. If you look on the screen right now, you'll see a dome forming in the air around Gondol. This is the hitbox for her attack. As you can see, it's got a really small area of effect. She will follow this up immediately with a secondary rush attack. Always dodge to the right. I'll show you right now the path of her attack in slow motion. As you can see, I'm doing a small dodge to the right as she goes for an overhead swing. And you can see the trail of her secondary attack. Okay, right here is where she's vulnerable to a punishing move. From here on out, the battle is pretty cut and dry. Nothing you haven't seen before. She's going to use the Valhalla Stump. So, dodge the Fireball. Dodge the Valkyrie. And here I'm going to go for Rampage of the Furies when she's vulnerable. Alright, towards the late stage of the fight, she's not stunned for quite as long as she used to be. So slow down and try to read her next attack. So here she's going to go for a wing slash, then she's going to jump backwards and use the lava rain. And remember, she always follows this move up with a melee attack. In this case, it's the wing stab. So I shift to the right, 
And here's my opening for the Tartarus Rage. Alright, as you can see now, she's jumped back up into the air. Now before, I threw the Frost Axe at her and wound up getting stunned by this attack. That's not what we should do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn Spartan Rage on and then quickly back off. And this will stagger her out of her animation. Alright, Tartarus Rage on. And off. Now I'm going to switch to the Frost Axe, Hell's Touch, Evaldry's Anvil. Now all one, all one, all one, all one. Alright, now she's jumped behind us, and she's about to use the Fire Rain attack again. However, this time she's got me wedged up against the wall. So, when she follows up with a melee attack, she actually ends up killing me here. Not to worry though, this is where we have the Resurrection Stones on hand. Now right as we get up, she tries to use the Maze Smash again. So right there you can see the area of effect of her attack, that barrier in the air. Now in slow motion, we're going to dodge to the right to avoid her overhead swing. Now right here is where we can retaliate. Or one, or one, or one, or one, or one. Okay, now she's going for the fire rain again. Just sidestep to the right. No need to roll, we're at a good distance right now. Then just prepare for the melee follow-up. Alright, for her follow-up of choice, she's jumped off to the side. We know this one from all the other Valkyrie fights. She's about to use the wing stab. So just make sure you move to the right. I'm going to follow up with Hell's Touch. Alright, because she's basically out of health here, I tried to go for the Spartan Rage. Now here's the sequence that I planned on using. So I'm going to start off with a punch, a rock throw for extra damage, and then a punch to try and take down the last of her health, but unfortunately she has one left. Now she's going for the Valhalla Stump. So I'm not going to panic, I know the sequence here. Dodge the Fireball, dodge the Valkyrie, and now retaliate. And as you can see, she's out of health. Just press all three to finish the fight. Now, as per usual, Kratos rips off her wings. She comes out of her body and spirit form. Thanks us for her brutal death. Gives us a bit of exposition on the Valkyrie Queen Seagrun. And now I go into the menu just to show you that I did in fact play the game on Give Me God of War mode. Alright guys, this was the guide for how to defeat the Valkyrie Gondol on Give Me God of War mode. This Valkyrie is on the tougher end of Valkyries to defeat. She's not that tough once you know what to do, but she's far from being the easiest to beat. Thanks for watching the video guys. Like, comment and subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Doing any of these things will help me to be recognized by the YouTube algorithm, and will help my channel to grow. Also, stay tuned for our next video on how to defeat the 7th Valkyrie on the list, Air.